Dear 2021 A love letter It's been a long year, and yet you came and went so fast. You brought so many changes, and honestly, they've mostly been for the better. As I'm writing this, I feel very melancholic. There's so much I want to say, but I just can't seem to find the right words or even the right emotions. So I guess I'll just start off with thank you. Thank you for the laughter, the new obsessions, the heartbreak, the obstacles, the people, the life. Thank you for the time you gave me to work on myself. Because without it, I wouldn't have found the courage to finally take the leap and put myself out there. Wherever there is. Twenty twenty two. You have some pretty astronomical shoes to fill, but don't be intimidated. Welcome. Stay a while. We've been expecting you. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been the biggest fan of New Year's. The concept that the completion of one revolution around the sun can be subject to such fuss has never failed to be ridiculous to me. But for once, I'm challenging myself to embrace it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At least some of it. so nice. Well, the reason why it was so nice is because I hate naps. I do. I always feel like when I sit down to take a nap, I'm wasting precious time. But lately I have been on winter break and with that I have nothing but time. And so it's been very hard for me to accept that sometimes the only thing you can do is nothing. <laughs> The sunlight was coming into the window and it was just perfect. Anywho, next, um, I wanted to show you guys my January TBR. I don't completely stick to TBR, so this is just kind of a rough idea of what I'm reading this month, but it isn't 100% something I'm going to stick to. So, start. 
starting off, we have probably one of the best cozy winter books ever. I'm planning on going through this as slowly as possible to enjoy the atmosphere it brings. But it is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This will be my third time reading it, I think. As you can see, I've started annotating it too, and I am enjoying it so far. Next up, we have a little stack. One second. Next up, we have a little stack of Nancy Drew novels. I, I loved these when I was a little girl, and obviously I have a nostalgia factor with these. So I might be totally hyping them up to be way more than they actually are, but I enjoy them. I love them. And so the particular ones that I found at my local thrift store are The Mystery of the Ivory Charm, False Notes, and The Moonstone Castle Mystery. And obviously all these are by Caroline Key. Next up, we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Um, I have seen this book around quite a bit and I heard that it's about sirens. I don't really read the synopsis of books so I could have just popped this open and see what it's about but I'm not gonna do that because I like to go in blind and not have any expectations. Next up I have two books that are the following books in the Winter Night trilogy by Catherine Arden. I read The Bear and the Nightingale about a month ago and I really enjoyed it. I loved the Russian fairy tale vibes and the like winter cabin in a mere forest aesthetic. I just really enjoyed that and now that there's snow outside I feel like it's even more per perfect time to um, get through these. So we have The Girl in the Tower and The Winter Witch and I'm very excited. Next up we have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I have seen this book around like everywhere Obviously, it's a very different vibe from the rest of the books that I'm interested in for this month. But I just felt like we had to toss in a good, hyped up TikTok book. And finally, we have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This will be my first Colleen Hoover book. I know that she is also really big on TikTok. And this is the first one that was available to me from the library, so I don't know if this is a good choice as my first Colleen Hoover book, but it is what it is, and I am excited. Anyways, friends, that is my January TBR. Um, thank you for joining me on this sit-down portion of the video. This is my first time filming a sit-down um, video part. This is my first time filming something like this and so I hope you enjoy. Tell me what you think about the books and if you have any recommendations let me know as well. Bye guys! Ready for some more honesty? I might be one of the least relatable people you'll ever meet. I was that girl before being that girl was even a thing. Organized, smart, multi-talented. Procrastination and I are strangers in every conceivable way. I've never cared about the opinions of others. I wake up at 5 a.m. every day, get a full eight hours, and work out consistently. I get good grades, I'm an avid reader, and while there's always room for improvement, my mental health has not been the worst lately. Yep. I'm your regular old little Miss Perfect. But there is one thing. I'm a very private person. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I've realized that I need to learn how to let more people in. So, however you came across this video, maybe fate, maybe boredom, Welcome to my life. I'm not the most ambitious person. Honestly, I'm very happy with what I have, and more importantly, with who I am. 
I am indeed one of the lucky ones. I've suffered enough to learn appreciation and gratitude, but not enough to leave me a rapper. Don't get me wrong, I've been shattered into a million pieces more than once in my life, but I've always been given the means to put myself back together. Last year was the year of setting my foundation. I managed to find who I am, even amidst the wreckage of my past destruction. So this year, I want to simply continue doing what I've been doing for the past six months. I want to live. The only difference is, this year, I'm taking you along for the ride. We might not know each other, but maybe we can still learn from one another. I don't have all the answers, and I'm assuming that neither do you. Your challenge for 2022, if you deign to accept, is simple. Meet me somewhere in the middle. Let's live and share whatever we learn along the way. Are you in?